morning, puppies. What's up, guys? <laughs> yeah. They're up before the roosters. Oh, my goodness. Everybody wants to get up in this bed with me. What you doing, Sonny? Oh, Papa, settle. Look at this boy. This is Sonny. He has Papa's coloring. I know I've said it before. Sorry, I'm not doing very good with the camera. Look at this beautiful puppy. <laughs> they're getting so big, they're starting to look more like dogs than puppies, which is good. I dig it. They went through... Oh, sorry. <laughs> Sonny, he'll get to where you're petting him, and he just gets so relaxed, he kind of just starts falling asleep, and he'll just kind of collapse back. And <laughs> Anyhow, what was I saying? I don't even remember. Oh, hello, puppy. Um, I don't know. I have no idea what I was saying. I just love cute puppies. Even when they're grown puppies. That's a good boy, Sonny. Oh, they made it through the night without uh, going anywhere on the floor. So that's good. Yes, they did. I let them out this morning and they went outside and went. Good puppies. What's up, Papa? What's going on down here? <laughs> That's a little sleeping area for whoever wants to sleep there down there. Whoop! What are you doing, Papa? What's going on with Junior? Hmm? You guys playing? <laughs> yeah, good morning, everybody. Hey, everybody out here. It's puppy time. Oh, I got to see if I can get a ladder today. And get some insulation up. How would you like to wake up to this every morning? Now, when I woke up, both these puppies were in the bed with me. But now it's kind of playtime. What's up, Junior? With your big fat belly? Oh, you're so cute. Oh, my gosh. I love you, Sonny. You get mean. Not really mean. Just pissy. But I still love you. I gotta go get my wagon. It's down at my the end of my drive for deliveries. I don't think I'm getting any deliveries today. I haven't ordered anything. So I'm gonna grab my wagon and go off back in my woods and see if I can cut me down some trees. What's this piece of curl doing? I always like to do a little walk around my property before I get going on anything. And this little patch of garlic chives that I transplanted, they're growing, they're multiplying. I've got some more in pots and various places around the tiny house, but I'm going to let these kind of go and flourish. I mean, I, I may snip off them a, a little bit if I need to cook them, you know, cook them into a dish. But um, I just want this whole area <laughs> to be covered in garlic chives. And they don't come up, they don't grow during the um, spring and summer. It's only during the fall and winter, so I think I'm going to have plenty of chives this year. All right, enough dilly-dallying. Let's get her done. This one's going first. I'm going to start about right here. I love doing this. I just love it so very much. I got it. That was easy. But what I wasn't expecting was that that part of the tree was going to be heavy enough to make it teeter that way instead of this part coming down so <laughs> i can't reach that um i'm gonna have to start cutting on that one now but i gotta tell you this wood is really heavy um very heavy so there's no way i'm going to be able to get it any further so i'm going to cut this in half and then start working on this bad boy these are still too big for me to carry so i've been getting getting them up and just oh End over end. <laughs> That's the only way I can do it. All the way to the wagon. I don't know, guys. <laughs> what do you think? Look at that. Look at how it moves. I'm on this side, so I'm going to be able to get away pretty quick if it starts, you know, rolling down this way. This is exciting. Finally. I got this piece separated. It's a nice size piece and I will cut that up some more. But what started happening and I kind of figured this would happen but um, it started pinching my blade. I almost couldn't get the bow saw out. Normally what I do is I'm able to saw with 
my right hand and uh, kind of hold up the other piece of wood so that it doesn't pinch down on it. It's kind of like the pressure's going up. I couldn't do it, it's too heavy. So I just got the Fisker's Axe and hacked away at it. Yeah, pretty inelegant, but so it went down, which is great. It didn't come down all the way, but it got this one down far enough, so now I'm gonna be able to cut that into smaller pieces. I did it. <sighs> this went pretty smooth. I've already turned it over and over and once. But I've got this down, and I've still got quite a bit I can do with this. This, this is very heavy wood. I'm thinking this is oak. It's not pine. I think, I don't know, I've got to learn my trees. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn this end over end to that mound over there. <laughs> and then I'm going to, the trees are shifting all over me. Um, I'm going to cut it in half because I don't even think I can get this all the way down, turning it end over end is really, really heavy. So I'm gonna get over there and cut it in half, get it down to the wagon. Well, I had it up in the tree. It was dangling on this. Um, and so I started cutting like way down here. And yeah, as you might have guessed, it started pinching my blade. So I pulled it out and I was hoping, <laughs> I was hoping that it wouldn't fall all the way down. So I broke that and just kind of pushed it. And, um, so it's in a position now where it's just as bad. It's going to pinch my blade. I'm not going to be able to get all the way through that. So I need to find something to kind of prop this up, like right here. I guess I'll cut off another big piece of this cedar. Yeah, two pieces. I'm going to cut it here, and I can finish it later. And I think that might be just big enough to, uh, I don't know where I'm going to put it, but I think that might be enough to kind of elevate it a little bit so the crack will start cracking up this way and not pinch my blade. See, if something is like this and the top part is just kind of hanging, the weight of the top of this is going to keep this crack open for me. Sometimes I'll even put my hand on it and put a little weight. In fact, that's what I'm going to do as soon as I put down this camera. But this works great, but if it's like that, now it's gonna pinch your blade see that it's uh, you can see daylight through it now so actually what I had to do is put this up long ways and get it I had to go all the way down to that end and do one of the basically a deadlift um, to be able to get it up on top of here so hopefully whew, hopefully I'll be able to get this done all right y'all it's done I did it, and uh, yeah, this is going to be all of the big parts I'm going to take down today. I can always cut up this later. Um, it looks small, but it's actually pretty good size. These are, you know, pieces that I'm going to be able to use and not have to split. So that's going to be saved for another day. Um, I may try and find some wood to keep this kind of up off the ground so it won't get totally dry, uh, rotten and wet. Um, but a lot of this uh, is still pretty green. So let me see if I can find some leaves that are actually attached to this thing. And maybe if I can identify a leaf, I can identify, whew, I can't talk, I can identify what kind of tree it is. I honestly can't find any intact leaves, full leaves, that are actually coming out of this tree, except for, I think this one is. Let me trace it back here. All right, it goes up there. There's a fallen leaf grouping. That stem goes to there. Yup. Yeah, okay, so this, this is the tree I'm cutting down. <laughs> this is a leaf. This is the only one I can find, so let me break this off and see if I can spread it out a little bit. All right, this is the best I can do. Um, these both came from the same branch. Oh, dang. Dang it. Okay. Um. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I've got all kinds of trees. I've got sycamore. I've got um, sweet gum. I've got, uh, you know, I mean, I know it's not pine. I know it's not cedar. Um, I don't know, you guys. What do you think? That's what the back of the leaf looks like. And flatten it out. I don't know if this is a whole leaf or not, but I'll figure it out eventually. 
on feet. I have been doing a lot and it's uh, starting to get dark. So there's so much more to this video that, and, and this video is already long enough, so I'll just share the rest of it in, um, in like another video. Um, found something amazing. I don't know. It may not amaze you, but it amazed me. I was pretty happy about it. So I'll share all that tomorrow and what I'm doing with the wood because I've got another idea. Oh my gosh. Today just keeps getting better and better. A couple things came in the mail. <sighs> look at me. I look like an old hag. <laughs> Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. For watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.